Hey everyone, welcome back to the battlefields of the Eastern Front. Today we find ourselves commanding a Soviet tank platoon. We are attempting to encircle and destroy the German army. As you can see, we are heavily embattled. We have grenades flying, tanks driving forward, and the snowy plains of Ukraine. So, before we get started, if you like military strategy, tactics, and doctrine, and seeing it applied to strategy games, this is definitely the channel for you. So make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the Patreon for any free after action reports. This is one of the older DLCs, but it's by far one of the more popular ones because you get to use tons of classic tanks. They were used both during the assault on the Eastern Front, but also during the Spanish Civil War. Um, these tanks are have machine guns, 45 millimeter cannons. They're the BT2s, fives, and the T26s. As you can see, we're overrunning this Soviet or this. German entrenched position and we're pushing our way down this hill with these classic tanks hopefully not getting stuck as we push forward here we have our infantry forces continuing to assault this entrenched position by the Germans they are lobbing tons and tons of grenades in there absolute massacre but this DLC is by far one of the better ones it has 10 operations so you'll play five from the Soviets five as the Germans each operation is around four to ten turns or four to seven turns which is shorter than the normal DLCs but it's it's a lot of fun I, I, I've read that a lot of people they enjoy the short DLCs um, let me know down in the comments which you prefer do you prefer long DLCs or do you prefer shorter DLCs because right now we are getting mortared and there is a heavily entrenched German position down in that town we're attempting to encircle these forces it's something you're going to do during this whole DLC which is an absolute fun and blast to do it's also tactically challenging to one both penetrate the German or the German lines and survive Ooh, it looks like they just dropped some smoke mortars on us and keep your forces intact once these Soviet tanks get into position oh they're taking heavy fire from that left hand side you also have machine gun tanks in this DLC this tank looks to be engaging some entrenched Germans way 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 down here which is always fun. There's our second s platoon getting ready to advance onto this position. There's all our smokes as we push down this hillside and drive the Germans out. As you can see, our tanks are under heavy fire. They are getting mass shot at by heavy machine guns off in the distance down here, which is always fun to do. Let's go check in on our other platoon. Right here, we have another set of column of tanks moving down this road. These tanks are going to spread out. There's our machine gun tank right there. As these tanks begin to spread out and set up their next, their second assault, as you can see, we ha we need to penetrate this left flank over here. As our other units have already penetrated that right flank, so we have a massive combined arms operation. There, you see one of our machine gun tanks over here in this di direction, slowly pushing forward. Our troops are a little bit ahead, but we always need some good infantry support if we want these tanks to survive. Lots of smoke, lots of concealment being thrown out there. Lots of grenades. That's it. One of the road crossings are by far one of the most tactically challenging things to do for any sort of infantry. You need to smoke because you're cr crossing really an open plain or an open field where you can be gunned down, and it's a high, it's an avenue of high traffic. So it's obviously a watch point. Something that anyone commanding any units need to be aware of and perfect is how to cross really any open fields or open roads roads in any tactical situation and how you're going to do it while preserving your units as you can see our Soviet forces are using heavy smoke cover they're also right on the doorstep of these German forces right here they're currently entrenched our tanks are gonna absolutely wreck these units once they identify them right I believe that's a maybe a T2026 Looks like he's halting, zone, getting zoning right in on that unit. Going to put a round right into that trench. That would be absolutely amazing. Maybe a good old HE round. Smoke grenade out. Nope, machine gun fire. Easily, easily making light work of all these Germans right here. Ooh, and that was a fantastic grenade by the Germans. Unfortunate for our tank, but these light tanks should have a good amount of armor. They should be able to survive any sort of punishment that the Germans are gi giving them. As you can see, there's some more tanks in the distance. Oh, wow. This tank is under heavy, heavy grenade fire. Our infantry forces really need to push up. Our Soviets are a bit lagging. Here we have a German. 
All right, this tank's engaging the, so the Germans with its machine guns. Another grenade out. This is battle slowly unfolding. German forces actually feeling pretty confident pushing up towards that tank. That's really unfortunate. Here come our Soviet forces off in the distance. There he goes. He finally put a round down into that trench. A nice little high explosive. So anyway, this DLC is Furative Spring, fifteen ninety nine USD in the Steam store. One of the older DLCs. Ooh, that was a fantastic shot. Uh, oh, oh, he's still tearing them up. Lots of HEs, lots of high explosives. Are these guys just trading blows right there? Fun DLC. I do not advise you playing it from the German side, though, because you're going to get absolutely steamrolled, as you can see right here. These Germans are standing no chance. They have no real anti-tank defense. Oh, he just put another round right next to that tank. Talk about friendly fire. Unfortunately, there's a mass... Oh, my God. A massive machine gun just tearing apart our infantry down, oh, up here. Look at that battle right there. Oh my god, look at that machine gun. Our tanks our tanks really need to engage that machine gun off in the distance over here. As you can see, this guy even looks like he's on fire. Looks like they're attempting to engage him. Here's our other set of tanks stopped just short of this objective before pushing down. Oh, this oh my god, he just took an anti-tank round. He just took a heavy artillery round right there. Oh my god. Is he still functioning? Is he He's still under heavy fire. Yep, there it is. All right, he still doesn't have us zoned in. There's an anti-tank gun off in the distance over here. Firing a bit short. Ideally, we would move these units. This unit's engaging. Oh, my God. Did that guy just go flying? Oh, unit down. Oh. That's even hitting it on its side. Is that fire? Yep, that tank is now... Oh, my God. That tank just got completely annihilated. Oh, it opens up in the front. Alright, it looks like he's working to engage these other tanks. Looks like he's shooting a bit too high. This tank's still combat effective. Looks like um, he's flashing, so either he ran out of ammo or he was destroyed. This tank's down. Wow, all our tanks have been destroyed. This is a fantastic defensive position by the Germans over here. Let's go check it out. All we have is, uh, yep, here it is. Oh, that's a perfect anti-tank position by the Germans. I'm quite impressed with that. They're firing right up that hillside. Our, they can see all four of our tanks, and they just laid waste to all of them. So that, this whole assault right here, even with this combined arms operation, has, a, has a pretty much been blunted. All four of our tanks are destroyed. They've come under heavy mortar fire. Ideally, we would have needed to execute this a bit more, a bit slowly, and just taking our time instead of pushing, oh, steamrolling this one trench and then to this next trench. And these units are definitely getting hit by heavy machine gun fire off in the distance. We, we had one major casualty, a critical loss right there. As you can see, this battle over here though, we've actually successfully won it. These units have been steamrolled and they're moving on to their next position. Looks like we have a small smoke cloud over here. Not really a big deal. Our tanks are gonna continue to push forward. But ideally, it's one of the funner DLCs. You get to use tons of classic tanks, tons of classic weapons. Um, it's one of the ones I'd suggest, suggest for anyone who's really trying to get into Graviteam. If it's something they just they like, like if they get to use like these older tanks that were used during the early war, pre-war era, or if it was used during the Spanish American, uh, I always want to say Spanish American, the um, Spanish Civil War. These you guys are just standing around. This unit's actually engaging someone. That's freaking awesome. I I'm so excited I get to see this tank in combat. That's so cool. What's he shooting at? He's like hitting that hillside over there. Oh, he's hitting all those Germans over there. Look, oh, unfortunately that tank's taking out a telephone pole. Dang, that's so cool. These tanks are so awesome. Like the older tanks, just like so much fun to like use. Like look at these guys under heavy machine gun fire. I'm just driving it out, trying to avoid things like trench warfare or just getting absolutely obliterated by older tanks like look at like look at that design oh that guy's engaging people over there on the left hand side that's actually phenomenal he's like laying waste could you imagine like that reminds me of a very world war one-esque like type of tank right here 
like just rolling over machine guns on no real heavy cannon fire yet just god that's so cool I wish one of the downsides about this DLC is none of these tanks are available in the battle editor which sucks because the battle editor is one of my main things I know I've wanted to make a video with these tanks a long time ago but it's just not something that w I was able to do because these tanks are only available in the actual DLC look at that guy laying waste fun fun DLC like like just like machine guns and armor like could you imagine that like just rolling towards you. I mean these guys are like cannons and armor look at this look at that that's an older tank this guy's still engaging people this is like, it's like a t-34 this is definitely a BT this might be a t-26 actually and he's just hitting units down there that's so awesome he just did he destroy something yeah there's he's finally hitting that machine gun fire they're still attempting to return fire to us Look at that move up what is he gonna shoot come on buddy no bummer and these guys this whole infantry platoon is just pretty much this whole front just absolutely destroyed like look at these guys under heavy mortar fire these tanks are gone all four of these tanks are gone this anti-tank area was absolutely perfect position just completely stopped our assault uh, mission we're gonna have at least we got through on this left hand side you know looks like we're some units up here some smoke logs lots of cover easy to eliminate honestly we probably could have just steamrolled this whole area there's still this guy's still hammering troops in the back line but yeah it's just one of the dlcs i wanted to show you guys i don't see much talk about it so i hope you guys like this video i hope you check out the dlc i find it a bit on the expensive side but everyone's different you get some cool weapons so peace out guys